What's good guys, welcome back. Wow, I'm still getting used to saying that again, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Today I'm actually at HQ of Burgess Electrical Services. Um, I'm back on the tools for Burgess. But yeah, I'm here today because I'm actually testing an electric vehicle charge point with the new QTEC adapter. I'm actually filming some content for QTEC and I thought, you know what, I'm done filming their stuff. I'm actually gonna film a video on this because it's pretty cool. Let's run the intro and get into this video. Right, let's, let's actually take that off. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Um, so like I just said, I've just finished up filming for QTEC and I wanted to just show you this adapter. Now it's really cool because there's some unique features to it, some patented features and stuff like that, which uh, to be fair, they're sick. But I just love how stuff's getting smaller. I'm now able to fit it in stuff like my, my Milwaukee pack out, um, in my test kit, make my life easier. I've obviously got the original QTEC test adapter. This one is so much smaller, it's unbelievable. Yeah, let's, um, <laughs> let's stop waffling, let's show you the charger. It's still plugged in outside. So here it is, this is the QEVA. Now I've got it plugged in still because I was just doing some product shots. If I unplug it, that is how small it is. It's absolutely tiny, especially when you compare it to, to this one. I mean, if you compare it to the actual adapter there, it's not a lot in it. But also if you compare it to the plug, it's literally a little bit bigger than the plug, which is crazy. It's crazy. Features wise, I've had to sort of memorize these so I could do QTEX video justice. So I'm, I'm pretty hot on them. Initially, it's a lot smaller. You'll notice that. It's also a bit cheaper c compared to the QTEC one, but also like other ones, like that mega one over there. Um, but yeah, it's it's considerably cheaper, enough to make it a worthwhile, uh, you know, worthwhile considering it. And it also has a unique patented bit of technology where it completes the CP error testing automatically. So you don't have to do anything. It does all of that for you. Um, I'll get more into that in a bit. But yeah, that's sort of the unique things about this one. The similarities are that it has the same four mil connectors just on the bottom this time. They both allow 10 amps through them. It will run through all of the charging states, albeit this one's just on the one simpler dial rather than the two sort of knobs on the EVSE. Like I said before, it does the CP error testing. And I think that's all of the similarities. And that brings me on to the differences. So this one doesn't do the signal output. So what you can do is you can actually plug this into an oscilloscope, I believe. I might have butchered that, might have got that wrong. This one, you can't do that. To be honest with you, it's some intense diagnostics, which your average electrician just isn't gonna do. It hasn't got the PE pretest or the PE error. Now that's an interesting one because Obviously that means you're not gonna be able to test like pen fault protection and stuff like that when it's built into chargers, but there is also many other ways to test like, you know, uh, faults and, and stuff like that. There are other ways to do that. So yeah, that's probably the one key difference is it doesn't do the PE testing, but it's certainly not a deal breaker. The only other thing it doesn't have is the 13 amp adapter on the back. There's obviously just no space to fit it in, but if you're like me and you test a lot of free phase chargers, you need to use these pins anyway. And that's why you've just got those on the bottom. But yeah, that's the similarities and differences. There's more of a simplified comparison on QTEX website, to be honest, than me just waffling about them and pointing at things. But yeah, that is the differences between the two. Let's plug it in and show you how it works because that CP testing is pretty cool and it's a unique bit of technology that QTEC have actually patented. So they're excited about it, I'm, I'm excited about it. And I thought we'd demonstrate that in today's video. This is the company charger, as I mentioned before. I'm gonna awkwardly plug this in with one hand. Let's turn it off as well, there we go. That is, I mean, with two hands, it's far more elegant than that, should I say? But I mean, it's so much smaller. Let's grab this again and break it. This is like, if you had that plugged in, 
it's dangling down there. You've got, it's just so much easier, so much smaller, um, less cumbersome. It's just so much, so much better. So what you want to do is bang it onto ready mode. And this is going to say that the car's plugged in, but it's not asking for a charge. Now this is a kiosk one, like I said, so you need to tap this RFID card to get it to work. But what that's also demonstrating for us is that new patented uh, CEP error technology, which is basically automatically doing that test for us to to show you know that that's either satisfactory or not. And the reason why it's it's coming back as an error is because it hasn't been activated. But if this was a genuine fault, you can see that sort of how that would work. And now when I tap this, it should go into ready. Yeah, cool, ready. And then it's stopped flashing, it's now locked in. And this is saying it's in, but it's suspended by the EV. So it's not charging, it's plugged in, but it's not charging, which is what that should do. Now you wanna bang it onto charge mode and this should start charging, which it has, there you go. So the timer's started, it says it's charging there. I probably won't be able to get that to focus because it's so glossy, but he has managed to do it somehow, cool. Um, and that says it's charging there. Now you can see here we've got L1, L2, L3 all illuminated. That's because this is a three phase charger. If it was single phase, it'd just be L1. Um, and that is basically your functional tests complete. Now, when it comes to doing your other tests, like your live tests and stuff like that, you're literally just plugging in here. And then I'm already on RCD. I'm already on type A, but what I'm gonna do first is do the EV ones, the six, uh, six milliamp DC. Press test, that should trip the one in the charger. Not available, ground fault, RCD six milliamp. There we go. It's now reset. It's smart enough to know that it needs the card again to start charging again. And then it's charging again. And that was 50.8 milliseconds. I can then go over to type A with the QTEC, test that, and that should trip the RCD inside. There we go. I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Flip that back on. And that, 7.8 milliseconds. And now we can do our loop testing. Although it's saying fault. Oh, it's, yeah, I think it's just restarting. It says welcome, six, seven, eight percent. So that's reloading. I'm not gonna lie, I can't be bothered to wait for that to, <laughs> I can't be bothered to wait for that to load up. Anyway, that is the Q EVA adapter um, in all of its glory. Really easy to use, to be honest with you. Super simple, they've really simplified the process. Not dumbed it down, but simplified it, which I think is good. It's super small, which for me is a massive deal. I love being able to fit, you know, stuff like this in my test case now and anything getting smaller and still working is great. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a smart bit of kit. It's cheaper than the, you know, the main bigger adapters and competitors and yeah, it's easy to use. So you can't really fault it. Hopefully you found this video interesting. I have, but then again, I am a bit of a nerd here on my Saturday playing with EV charge point test adapters but you know that's me anyway that's what 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 we do on the channel um, and maybe you've learned something as well i have got a video on the evse charger test adapter for chargers um, where i literally take some rolex chargers apart and run through all of the the features of that one it's very in depth i'll put the link to that up here if you want to check that out but if not then um yeah drop us a like thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one